Welcome back, everybody. We are tripping with Alaska Airlines in Seattle all week long. Now, the Emerald City is known for seafood, but it's also the birthplace of teriyaki and home to the hottest fried chicken in town. Oh, you know, I got a taste of Seattle with award-winning yeah. chef and Top Chef fan favorite, Shota. Check it out. Seattle is the birthplace of teriyaki, and no place elevates it quite like Taku. We're going to visit Top Chef fan favorite, Shota Nakajima. You recognize him from Top Chef, big name here in Seattle, Chef Shota. Thanks for having us to Taku. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you for coming. Yes, tell us all about the concept. First of all, it's really colorful. I love it. But what's the menu like? Chicken karage, which is Japanese fried chicken, marinated in soy sauce, ginger, garlic, all the yummy things, and a light batter. What was it that made you want to do this traditional kind of fried chicken you know from Japan? I'm really happy with Japanese fried chicken and rice as a meal almost every single day. I mean, give me some pickles, so at least I'm eating some vegetables, but besides that, like, I'm good, so. <laughs> I want to ask you about... Yes, the effort bucket. Yes. 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 It was a few years ago. I went to a bar with a friend, and at midnight, they, they had all the menus on there, but at midnight, they changed it to Long Island iced tea and effort buckets only. And I was like, that's genius. I'm going to use that someday. <laughs> and, and here we go. <laughs> it's it taken off for people ordering these buckets. I think yes, they, people they were love saying it. it so. Yeah. And it's fun, you know, it's, it, it, it's fun to have this bucket, eat it. It's fun to bring this to a party because, you know, it's like, where did you get that bucket? What is it that makes your chicken different? And I understand, I just learned this, but that Seattle is like the birthplace of teriyaki. You know, I think our chicken's unique because fried chicken over here, people expect crispy. So we've been working kind of on this balance. And we, it's very Japanese karage, but it has a mix of that crunchy element into it. You know, I just grew up with teriyaki, and when I wanted to launch my first sauce, which is this one, I ended up launching a teriyaki sauce. Okay, I want to see some of this famous chicken karage. All right, let's do this. We have a hot pan. We're going to add some butter in it. I'm going to add these squash in really quick. I'm going to add the mushrooms. These are chanterelle mushrooms. They grow in the Pacific Northwest all over right now, from the coast to the mountains. We're gonna go ahead and cook that up a little bit. So while this is dropping, the chicken is already marinated and it's first fried. We're gonna add some alliums in here just to kind of hit it. And some lemon. And we're gonna just toss that in. I like that technique. That's oh, good. thank you, yes. thank you. Yes. For the camera, you know. What are hours? I think because people would like this like late night, like you said. Yeah, we're open till 2 a.m. Right now, the kitchen closes a little bit early, but we are planning on a late night menu. So that's gonna be the fried chicken. Oh, yes. Is this your famous sauce? This is the famous sauce. We're gonna go ahead and toss it. We're gonna get another scoop real quick. Toss it real quick. And that's kind of our unique, fun, wet version that we do. So shall we? So we're gonna go with the uh, kabocha and wild mushroom special. Put that right onto the plate. We grab this teriyaki sauce with the allium crushed into it. So we're gonna pour a little bit of that on top. And it kind of has this nice sharp edge. This is actually the crunchy chicken skin for texture. Oh, yeah. That's know. important. The kabocha will be nicely cooked yeah. up with the crunch, yes. And this is um, green onions and cilantro that just go right on top. So there you go. That's your first one. OK. So the fried chicken is all tossed in the teriyaki sauce. So we're going to go ahead and just drop that in there. That looks amazing. Pour some sauce for the camera, because why not? Mm, look at that. That's your secret sauce. You tell me what's in it, right? What? Love, passion, integrity. <laughs> I, love. <laughs> I love to put greens. I love cilantro and green onions on pretty much everything, especially with kind of a rich flavor. Right. Here we go. Yeah. These are the two food items that we have for this today. OK, I'm ready to taste. What's the recommended way to do it? You know, I would start from this, because why not start with some vegetables, okay. and then go in for the chicken. All right. Cheers. Mm. 
Yeah. Mm. So good. Now so the famous new. chicken. Finger food, right? Mm -hmm. Cheers and great Cheers. drinks to go with. Thank you. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my God. The right amount of crunch, the sauce. And we can buy this on Amazon, I hear, the sauce, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can get the sauce on Amazon right now. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, come visit Taku in Seattle. We're going to grind over here. Thank you so much, Chef. Of course, my pleasure. Thank you for coming. Amazing. Cheers. Cheers. I cannot stress how amazing it really was, the perfect amount of crunch and just tender, gooey goodness. And I had to go to another restaurant after that, so I had to run. He packaged it all up for us. I didn't touch it for about five hours. It still had the right texture later that night. Oh, I bet. I got to make my way to, to <laughs> Seattle. A big mahalo to Alaska, of course, for sending Living 808 trip into West Coast cities, and we're uncovering amazing experiences in each destination. That's right. Alaska has the most nonstop flights to the most West Coast destinations. Now, if you guys want to go to Seattle, just like Tanya, you've got nonstop flights from Honolulu, Kona, Kahului, and Lehue. A lot of options. And, of course, Alaska is the best when it comes to safety, cleanliness, flexibility. you got to wear your mask, and you can breathe a sigh of relief with touch-free travel options and HEPA filters. Oh, that's always nice. And don't worry, you guys, about changes. There are no change fees ever. Now, if you're ready for, I'm going to do it. Go do it. Low yes. fare, next level care, and the best experience in the air, <laughs> visit alaskaair.com. <laughs> Then you're welcome, Alaska. Yeah. They can use that. They yeah. can use that as our yeah. new tagline. Look me for our next Tuesday tunes. <laughs>